out in the junkyard today is I'm looking for seats for the 77 Mercury. Found a car that may work. I don't care what make or model. As long as it looks the right color and fits, that's what matters. Don't care for the leather seats. Try to make them work, but I think I'm going to switch to cloth. These seats look like they'll work. They fit pretty close. Not picture perfect, but they're within an inch or two. Can I get that door open? It's a bench seat, but I'll think I can make it work. That's the project for today. Is looking for whatever car, Chrysler, Ford, or GM, anything that fits the parameters. I'll see if I can make seats out of them. Use them for my other cars. For the Mercury and maybe cloth seats for the Cadillac. Okay, off to the next car here. It's a late 70s Mercury Marquee, four door. Almost like my Mercury, except it's got two extra doors. It's sedan. Luckily, it's got red interior. The seats look like they could work. I know the fronts well, but the rears. I have to do some measurements to make sure. It's got mold. Mice have been having sex and fucking around, and it looks like an abortion clinic there. And it doesn't matter. Some white vinegar, hydrogen peroxide. There's a multitude of ways of cleaning these out, and it's early March. Now is a good time to do this instead of the hot summer. Headliner looks good. So we'll see what these seats come to for size. I got it all written down here what to look for. So like I because my intentions today were to look for seats potentially for the Cadillac, the 76 Cadillac, and the Mercury. And I think I may have found what I'm looking for here. I know these will work. There's a lot I can get from this car. So I'll get back to you guys. I get to the odds and ends done and measurements here and figure out what's what. The good news is everything measures up all right. 61 inches wide for the rears. Yeah, I ain't buying with the fronts. I know they'll work, but the rears is just questionable and they look like they'll they'll work. They're the right height of 25 inches tall and 61 inches wide. It's got the color that I'm looking for. I think these will work. It's just a matter of how much it'll cost. Now it's just a uh, terms of pricing. Marched into the office, asked how much they want, and like make an offer. So I made it specifically clear these seats ain't good. And they're going to require a lot of cleaning. And I'm taking all the gamble on it to see if they'll come out all right. The guy was like, okay, 50 bucks. Or $100 if we take it out for you. And that's for everything, front and rear seats. So I'm going to start with the rear. They're just clipped in. The nice thing about Ford vehicles is it ain't like the GM cars where you can't take the back part off without taking the seat belt part off. What I mean by that is with GM cars, what bolts these down to the floor also bolts these down. But on Fords, it's separate. I mean, I wish GM did it that way. They're always torqued down like you wouldn't believe. Check this shit out, and quite literally, just about had it with this thing. That's a turd right on the bolt that I'm trying to take off of this seat, because I can't get this seat, these, this seat out. It just fights you. It's been in a junkyard, so it's to be expected. It's not gonna be as easy like my car, but that's that's a deal breaker right there. That's an actual fucking turd. Literally right on the bowl underneath there. Fuck that. I'll pay a hundred dollars and then they can do all this. Check this out. How's that for contrast? That's what uh, being outside for how many decades will treat your carpet. Horse shit and somewhat decent colored. The seats came out, 100 bucks. 
Yeah, actually, they're doable. I think they're savable. Loading up the Cadillac. Just gotta get some bungee cords. The worst are the fronts, or at least I think this seat is the worst. It's got that green moss there. It can be cleaned out. Just bungee this down and call it a day. Hey, it pays to have an older car like this. More room, more room to haul bigger shit home. So, I'm gonna pay the man $100, get some bungee cord, and get this stuff home. At the garage with the air compressor, just pushed a bunch of compressed air into the fabric of it all. Got a lot of dust out, a lot of crap. I was hitting it earlier like it was an old dirty carpet in the parking lot of the junkyard I was at where I got these. That did a lot of work. Got a lot of crap out. So I put some compressed air inside and out. As clean as it's going to be next to fixing it professionally. It's like moss right there. I have to find something to get that out. I'm going to rent a rug doctor and some enzyme cleaner. See what that does to it. I make a few passes. Aside from all of that, I'd say it's sal salvageable. I think they're. I think they could be saved. That's what I wanted. It's cloth. This will do. It's the right color. The back seat held up pretty good. What I think I'll do is I'll probably clean half of it. Maybe I'll piece of tape down the middle and clean one half and leave the other untouched just to see the difference. base of these got to be uh, fixed. Scale it off and hit it with Pure 15. Did that with my Oldsmobile and it worked alright. As I found out, these are manual seats. Not electric like in my Mercury, the factory seats it came with. They're electric. It's not bad. I actually prefer manual unless to go wrong. The only drawback is because it's been sitting in a junk car open to the elements literally the door is open the windows open these seats could have been a lot worse but by a miracle they survived for the most part but the underside as i checked they're no better looking than the base of it so we're going to need a lot of lubrication and some handiwork but it can be all be fixed cigarette burn right there i don't care Beggars can't be choosers. I'm going to be saying that often because I found a few other cars, but this is going to be the best one to go with. Now I'm going to send these to the other garage and sit on them for a while until I have time to clean it properly. Just an overall look around. Yeah, look at that. The carpet's so grungy, it's orange. No biggie. I'll take what I can get for seats. I'll make it work one, one way or another. Don't know when I'll get around to like renting a rug doctor or steam cleaning these, but I'll pick up the rest of this when I get to that point. I use that to bring it all home. So I'll get back to you guys later when I get to redoing these and cleaning them up. So this is going to be like a multiple part video, I think.